Welcome back. Right now, the Thompson family, $126. The A-Mans have zero. Here we go. Another face-off. Good luck. The top five answers are on the board. Here's the question. Name something that happens that people consider to be a sign that the season is changing. Jeff? Leaves turning. Show me leaves turning. No one! Think of the steal. Here we go, Jade. Something that happens that people consider to be a sign that the season is changing. It gets dark early. How about it just gets dark early? Uh, yeah. Good answer, not on the survey. Jamie. Blossoms, flowers blossoming. How about blossoming flowers? Yes. $43 in the bank. Joeen, what do you say? The snow starts to fall. Let me see. Falling snow. $58. Julie? Your grass starts growing. You've got some growing grass. Yes. Oh. Strike two. All of a sudden, they're going to get a chance to steal, Jeff. Something that happens that people consider to be this, a sign that the season is changing. Birds flying south. Yes, good answer. Let me see. Birds flying south. I know it was three strikes. I was just, see, he's hesitant to stop me because I was just about to go like this and walk this way. It's unbelievable. I hesitated. What a recovery. What a recovery. Rita, something that happens to people that make them a sign that the season is changing. You change your clothes. Change your what? Clothes from summer Thank you for the visual. Sally? Ripe fruit. Ripe fruit. Joe? Weather. Weather? You catch a cold. You catch a cold. Kim, you can go with any of their answers or out on your own. What would happen? To make people realize the season is changing. What do you say? You catch cold. Catch cold. You go with Staff Sergeant Teresa. Is that right? What would you have said if you hadn't gone with him? I was blank. You were blank. All right. So you're going to steal $58 if we see catching a cold. No! The cops will keep their bank. Two answers you did not know. Number three, seasons change with falling leaves. Not only do they change color, they fall. Number four. First Robin. It's 184 to zero, and here we go with another face-off. Here we go. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. We're going to double this dollar value. Sally, don't look at me like that. You can only help yourself. <laughs> Jade, good luck. The top four answers are on the board, and I ask this burning question. Name something held in high school auditorium. Jade? A basketball game. Let me see a basketball game. <laughs> Not there. Don't move. Sally, name something held in high school auditoriums. Quickly. Dances. She says a dance. Yeah. <laughs> Not there. No one move. No one move. Jamie, can you name something held in high school auditoriums? A lecture. A lecture? Good. Perhaps a lecture. Not there. Now, don't move. Only you, Rita, can keep this question alive. Something held, now listen, in high school auditoriums. Assemblies. Let me see an assembly. It is there. Think of a steal. Rita comes alive. Kim, something held in high school auditoriums. You think of a steal, Thompson's. This might not be easy. Pep rallies. What? Yeah. Okay. Pep rallies. He says a pep rally. Hip, hip. Yeah. What do you say there, Teresa? The prom. How about the prom? Yeah. No. Oh. One strike. Held in high school auditoriums. A play. Let me see a play. Yeah. Number yeah. one. Yeah. Sally, what do you say for the bank? Oh. Something held in high school auditoriums. The other team can win. You say? I say... Three seconds. Take a guess. Oh, right. don't, say, don't say it. Okay, that is two strikes, two strikes. That was three seconds. Rita, what do you say? Voting. She says, voting. Voting. That was three strikes. Thompson's, you will win the game if you tell me number two. Something held in high school auditoriums, Jamie? 
Um, debates. Debates, Jade. A musical. A musical. Graduation. 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 Julie, graduation. 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 Joey, graduation. one answer will win you this game. Would you repeat the question for me, please? Something held in high school auditoriums, you may go on your own. Graduation. What do you say? Graduation, Mom. I'm going to say music concerts. Is Joey right with a music concert? No! The a take that back. All right, what was number two? Graduation! Who said that? We did. Said by several family members. Let's go. It's time for another face off. Here we go. Jamie. Rita, we triple the dollar value to the top. Four answers are on the board. We ask 100 people this question. Name something you just couldn't Name something you just couldn't face the morning without. Jamie? Coffee. Let me see coffee. Tis number 1. Think of it still, Rita. Here we go. What do you say, Joey? I'm going to say reading the newspaper. About the newspaper. Yeah. Strike one. Think of a steal. Oh. Julie? Breakfast. How about breakfast? breakfast. Oh. Amen. You'll get a chance to steal the bag and be awfully close to winning. Chef, something you just couldn't face the morning without. How about a shower? Let me see a shower. Either yeah. team can win now. Jade. Something you just couldn't face the morning without. Brushing your teeth. Let me see. Brushing your teeth. <laughs> Bring it home, Jamie. You're playing for 10000 um, I'm going to say listening to the radio. You're the champs if number four is the radio. No. Hey, man, they're the champs unless you tell me something you just couldn't face the morning without. Rita. Uh, knowing what the traffic's like. Knowing what the traffic's like. Sally? Traffic report. Traffic report. Doesn't alarm. Cigarette. Cigarette. Kim, you can go with them or on your Cigarette. own. One answer will win Cigarette. you this Cigarette. game. Cigarette. What is Cigarette. number four? Cigarette. Quickly. Cigarette. You say cigarette. If it is there, you're playing for 10,000, if not the Thompsons. Is it a cigarette? Uh, no! The Thompsons are the champions. This would have won you the game, amen, family. In the morning, our survey couldn't do without number four. Jews. Let me say goodbye to a great family. God bless you, and I wish you much fun. Thank you. Stay right here. Got nice parting gifts for you. You're so cute, Rita. Stay here. Two players for $10,000. One more time. The Thompson family. Who's playing first? Bye-bye. Jeff is coming up to play Fast Money right after these important messages. All right. Five seconds. 15 seconds on the clock. Good luck, Jeff. Thank you. We ask 100 people, specifically, what's the very first thing you put on in the morning? Socks. A job on a newspaper. Reporter. The beverage you drink most often in your home. Coffee. Tell me specifically your favorite food for breakfast. Cereal. Something you put off washing. The car. Turn around. Let's see how you did. Specifically, what's the very first thing you put on in the morning? You said as soon as you get up, no matter if you have nothing on, you put on your... Socks. <laughs> Not a pretty sight, the survey says. Fine. Job on a newspaper you selected. Reporter, what the survey say? 42. Nicely done. Beverage you drink most often in your home, you said. Coffee. Survey said? Nice. 15. Tell me specifically your favorite food for breakfast, you said. Cereal. Our survey said? 14. Something that you put off washing, you said you've got a dirty car, and our survey said it's a pretty clean answer. 31. Send you back with your family to bring your sister Julie to the stage. Come up here, Julie. Good luck, Julie. You're 93 points away from $10,000 as we put 20 seconds on that clock. Good luck. We ask 100 people specifically, what's the very first thing you put on in the morning? Your underwear. A job on a newspaper. The um, editor. A beverage you drink most often in your home. Milk. Tell me specifically your favorite food for breakfast. Eggs. Something you put off washing. Um, your car. Try again. Um, the floor. Turn around. <laughs> specifically, what's the very first thing you put on in the morning? Unlike your teammate, you said you put on your underwear. Our survey said... Yes! 33! Yes! Robe, underwear, and bra, the number one answer. Just keep hugging me. A job on a newspaper, you said. 
An editor, what'd our survey say? Bam! <laughs> Tied with reporter for the number one answer. <laughs> There's sometimes it's not so bad to be short, I'll tell you. <laughs> a beverage you drink most often in your home, you said? Milk. It does a body good, our survey said. Bam! 17. You are one point away. One point. Tell me... Sp Soda was the number one answer. Specifically, your favorite food for breakfast, you said? Eggs. No, said. Eggs. What did our survey say? So one a day men's. A complete multivitamin plus lycopene, which Harvard studies suggest may help prostate health. Some things are healthy to talk about. One a day men's. Tonight on The Amazing Race. They're pushing and shoving. A torturous trek through India. And a barefoot walk through a temple of rats. <laughs> the Amazing Race. Tonight at 9 on GSN.